I was born and raised in a little town called Urbana, Ohio. And uh, I, next thing I knew, I moved to Indianapolis when I married Alice. And I went to, went to work at the same company she was associated with, the Connecticut Mutual. And uh, from there on, I was 10 years. And for 10 years, I was a, a life member of the, of the Million Dollar Roundtable. And uh, so after the 10 years, <laughs> for some reason or another, I wanted to go into the golf course design business. Why, I don't know. I have no idea, none, zero. But anyhow, I went into the golf course design business and I've been in it ever since. And the Children's Museum of Indianapolis is such a great building and has so much to offer and it's wonderful that they want an outdoor experience and that golf will be part of it. We're very excited about that. Well, we're, we're still working on that. <laughs> it's very flexible because when we start construction, uh, so many of our great holes are flat and we don't want to, we want a lot of contour and a lot of excitement so there's going to be some adjustment maybe maybe we'll be re redesigning our holes <laughs> on your golf course it is entirely different but it but it but it's for the children and uh and and uh, and the young kids you know they come in there and they play and they'll they'll try and they'll do different things but uh it's going to be something amazing i i, I nobody knows what they're going to do well, I think this is quite a task and a very uh, adventuresome thing for us. It's a brand new thing we've never built on cement before. <laughs> but we're going to make a wonderful golf course for the young people. We wanted mom and the kids to be able to play the so same hole maybe that dad is playing over on the regulation golf course. So we think it was very important that this um, out, layout be part of the trail because the trail starts in southern Indiana and comes up through Indianapolis and ends up in Culver up in the northern part of Indiana and we'd like to have this very much like to have this be part of the trail because mom and the kids can be playing the same holes that dad's playing yeah. and and they'll they'll learn they'll learn to try to play golf and, and 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 that's what they want what what you really want them to do you want them to try to play golf well we've done something really special and unique with that we've designed some holes that are wheelchair accessible and we have the hazards movable so that they can be removed if the child is in a wheelchair and has to navigate the the course. So we've got some flat holes that can be adjusted to the ability of the child that's playing. This is unique because nobody else has this. The Children's Museum will be the first one to have some holes like that that are wheelchair accessible and age adjustable with the hazards. Well, it, it's, it's given so much to me in my life. It's given me exercise, but most of all, it's given me friends. And it's given me a sense of accomplishment. Um, so the whole thing put together has really made been very very special in my life. Golf is it is mentally challenging because you have to stay composed, you have to think, you have to plan. If you notice, all those professionals have psychiatrists with them, so it must <laughs> be a real more of a mental challenge than anybody thinks about. Well, really, in an early age, it, it starts. And you know, if they if they start at an early age they'll keep on, it'll stay with them, and, and, and they'll con continue, and they'll, and they'll go through grade school and high school and college, they'll work on golf, and, and it's amazing the number of people that will stay into golf, and they'll, and they'll end up being professionals, and, 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 they'll, and they'll change, but, but, they'll, but, but a lot of them will stay in golf, and uh, and it's amazing how many will stay in golf. It's amazing how many will stay in golf.